I'm Steven and this is Aaron and we are going to use science to determine whether or not the proposed banana bonnet invention can actually slow the ripening of bananas. So we got a whole bunch of junk here. We have some black plastic material, we have some foil, some bandits. We're going to kind of MacGyver something together here. I think what we'll probably do is do a piece of foil, a piece of plastic over it, wrap it with a bandit, put it off to the side. So we just created our control group bunched, our control group separated, and our bonneted group, and we're now going to set this thing to take one photograph an hour for about a week and a half, and we're going to see how these different groups of bananas perform. Plus, I didn't have a scissors at my desk, but I managed to pick one up in this process, so now I have scissors to keep, I got a few extra bandits, and these I'm probably going to eat. So what we learned from this experiment is that, at least in this configuration, all the bananas age at exactly the same rate. Now we could have run some other experiments, like we could have isolated the groups of bananas from one another so that none of the gases from one had any effect on the others, but we didn't think that would be a real world use case scenario. So we think that this experiment showed us, if not the complete scientific truth about bananas, at least showed us that this is not going to be a viable consumer product for us. We're a little bit disappointed because we really thought it was going to be cool if it worked. Um, also we learned, and I never knew this, that as bananas ripen, they shrink. You can see that on the time-lapse photography, they're almost like a balloon deflating, so that was pretty cool. So the Explore was not a success, Corky is not going to be building this product, however we had a lot of fun doing this Explore.